Hello everyone, welcome. What we are going to be understanding in this particular video is we'll be kind of writing a program to check if a number is positive, negative or zero. So let's move ahead very quickly. So any particular number X. So there are three possibilities that the number can be positive or it can be negative or it can be zero. So obviously if a number is not positive, not negative. So there's only one possibility left that is zero, right? Zero is neither positive nor negative. So we'd be using if and else to write this particular code. Now, what I've already done here for us is I've kind of already written the code so that we don't waste time writing so many lines and the video becomes much shorter uh, for all of you to understand. So let's go ahead. So here basic uh, you, uh, importing all the classes PSVM and here we've created a scanner to accept uh, to scan values. Here we are asking the user to enter the first number or enter number. Okay. Now here and then we are accepting basically here we are accepting the value. Now we are accepting the value in a variable called as num. Now for example, if the user has entered 23 as a value, for example, right? So how do we check? How do we identify? If so here this is the condition to check if the number is positive. Now how we are checking that the entered number is that greater than zero? Yes or no? So is 23 greater than zero yes it is so this condition would get satisfied and we'd be printing that the number is positive now for example let's say if somebody had entered uh, minus 10 as a value so what we would do now in this case we'll first obviously check this particular condition we check minus 10 is that greater than zero so it will say obviously it is not greater than zero so we'll move from here to the else if part now in the else if part we've written the condition that is num less than zero so this is a different condition so here we are checking is minus 10 less than zero yes or no so obviously this is true so it will say that the number is negative correct now so here basically we are handling handling if the number is positive here we are basically handling if the number is negative now for example let's say if the user would have entered zero now zero is neither negative nor positive. So neither this condition nor this condition would satisfy. So in that case, there's only one possibility in that case that the number is zero. So we just go ahead and say that, okay, else that like this is the only uh, possibility that the number is not greater than zero. The number is not smaller than zero, then the number must be zero. So we just go ahead and directly print that the number is zero. So just to very quickly show you. So let's say if I enter the value uh, 100 here in the input panel and then I run the code. So in that case, obviously it will be saying that the number is a positive number. Uh, so there's some particular issue. Again, you can copy paste, uh, I guess. There's some issue with the compiler, but anyways, <clears throat> what you can do is you can go to this particular page here uh, here that is prep and start top 100 code the link of this in, is in the description of the video from here there are many other programs but you go ahead to positive negative number you click on java you'll particularly be landing on this page and you can copy paste the code uh, so as you can see you can copy paste this particular code that we've just mentioned uh, there are other two methods also that you can check from here and there's one method using ternary operator. If you're aware about what ternary operators are, you can check from here. So we just launched Prep Insta Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that.